Hey friends, today we are going to be doing some shopping for some Disney props and memorabilia. I saw the Lakeland Antique Mall has some ride vehicles, like actual ride vehicles from the Magic Kingdom, along with a gigantic Mike and Sully that looks so cool. And then later on, we're going to head back up to Disney, maybe grab a bite to eat at one of the resorts, and just have a beautiful shopping kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. First things first, let's check out this awesome Buzz Lightyear uh, ride vehicle. Well, it's the front like lap bar to the ride vehicle, but still, it's super rare, and it's just the front lap here. These guns, I don't think, are a part of it. I think these are just like generic toy guns, but I mean, this is really cool. It's not like something you would find anywhere, you know? Like Buzz Lightyear is still a current attraction in Walt Disney World and Disneyland. And to be able to own something like that, it's got to be really unique. And it's for sale, but there's no price on it. I think you have to call and ask or make an offer. When you see things like a, a Buzz Lightyear lap bar, you wonder what you could do with something like that. I mean, collectors like to display their collection, but like other purposes, and I would literally have it probably underneath my TV in my living room, because I have like this round entertainment center. Can you imagine just putting a Buzz Lightyear lap bar in front of it? I mean, I, I, I don't think I'd buy it. I'm, I'm sure it's probably selling for a pretty penny because it is super rare, but there are other cool things, including, I'm sure you saw Mike and Sully. These life-size Mike and Sully props are from Toys R Us. They used them to advertise the movie when it first came out, but they're just so cool. I mean, I've seen them go around a lot, and uh, they're highly collectible, and I, I just, I, I, do, I adore them. I think they're just so, like, fun just to look at, especially Sully, because Sully's one of my favorite characters. And then over here, we have something even bigger and grander. This is a star jet, and this is from Magic Kingdom. This is what used to be the Astro Orbiter, and this was an attraction, and you can see it actually right above the Wedway People Mover there. And I think they switched this out in the 90s, and that's when they switched it over to the Astro Orbiter. I think it was like uh, 1974 to 1990s, and then it was replaced with the Astro Orbiter, and I love this. This is also for sale too. You can buy this. And I, I don't know if I can use this as an entertainment center, but I would love to sit in it. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. And you can also get a cast member uh, uniform or a cast, uh, cast member uh, outfit from Tomorrowland, $149. See, these were all really cool. Another really cool thing to point out is here, it was a D attraction, Tomorrowland. Mission to Mars, Star Jets right here. How cool. I bet you you get that sign when you buy the Star Jet if you want it. That's a good coupon. Those are all like big ticket items and like I said, they're all for sale. So if you have any questions, you can just reach out to Lakeland Antique Mall or Recycling the Magic. I'll put their links in the description and we'll be showing you some things, like I said, that are super expensive and uh, some things that are a little bit more affordable. I like actually getting a big selection and a variety just so I can show you guys because it's really amazing just to be able to show it and be here and like touch some things and just be like, oh, this is history. Here is a gigantic five foot tall sorcerer Mickey. This is kind of cool, especially with the announcement that Fantasmic is coming back. And this was from a Disney store. And you know, Disney stores are kind of an extinct thing and you can buy it. Like, like stuff like this, I would absolutely love to collect. I mean, especially sorcerer Mickey, he's my favorite Mickey. <laughs> That's really, really nifty. Wow, this is a pretty iconic piece right here. These two dolls you see in the background right here are actually on the cover of that uh, book right there, the Disney Anna update. And these are the exact dolls. And the funny thing is, is the, the creator of these dolls, Charlotte Clark, only made three sets of Mickey and Minnie. And she gave one set to Walt Disney, one set to Roy Disney, and then this set right here that we're seeing in our presence. Isn't that amazing? And that's the actual dolls on the cover of the magazine there. They also have a couple of other ones a little bit older too. Look at this. These are so, this is like history. These belong in a museum, honestly, especially the two in the back and they're for sale. So like I said, I mean, if you're a collector, this is priceless, honestly, very priceless. How can you actually put a price on an item when there's only three of them and one of them <laughs> belonged to Walt Disney and one of them belonged to Roy Disney? You know what I mean? Like, you can't price that. Like, it's, it's absolutely insane that it's in an antique mall in Lakeland, Florida. It 
baffles me. It really does. So just like I said, it's all about the history and just being able to say, hey, look at these cool things that I actually came upon and got to see. Looks like they've got a lot of stuff from the Pirates of the Caribbean rooms at uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. And these are really cool because they actually gutted them out and they're not like replacing them. Like this is going to be the end of the era of the pirate themed rooms. And you got a pirate themed bed, some pictures back here. And I'll show you some pictures later on a little bit closer. But I love all this stuff. Separate headboards. It's like you have a little bed. This was a bed that you sit here and you can, you know, like I said, sleep in it and these are all really awesome it's really sad that they're getting rid of the themed rooms i feel like they should keep it i mean not like the incredible ones at the contemporary i'm a fan of this style themed room call me old-fashioned i just like physical props and i feel like the incredible rooms inside the contemporary are just a lot of stickers you know what i mean it's like stickers and paintings and stuff like that where the pirates of the caribbean rooms these are like physical props you're sleeping in a ship you know what I mean? The nightstands are barrels of rum, maybe? I mean, barrels of whatever you want to think that's inside there. And, like, that's the stuff that I love. I love the theme rooms at Disney like that. And if they kept on making some more like that, I'd be, I'd be behind it, you know? Here is some of the artwork that was hanging on the walls in the Pirates of the Caribbean rooms. And these are for sale. They're 300 and, uh, I think it says $95. And it's actual scenes from the attraction. So, of course, this being the end scene with Jack Sparrow. And then this one. These are really cool. Like, I love it. And they have tons and tons of stuff. Different seats. Even, like, the cushions. Look. I love it. And it's all here now. Like, the resort is no longer... Pirates of the Caribbean themed. Now you can decorate your bedroom and kind of recreate it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's now a thing. I think one of the coolest things from the Pirates of the Caribbean rooms are these gigantic chests. They're selling for $125 and they're little drawers. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh, and these are actually leather. They're not that heavy either. I thought it was going to be super heavy, but it's pretty, it's pretty light. That's so nifty. If I was a kid, I'd love a pirates themed bedroom or pirate ship themed bed. Now, by all means, I'm happy that someone else was able to preserve them and sell them off so people can enjoy them for years to come. I mean, back in the day, Disney, Universal Studios, they would just destroy things like this. Like it would never be able to get repurposed or reused. So we've come a long way and I really appreciate that. Some of my favorite things to collect are just framed artwork. And right here are some amazing pictures of Walt. Look at this. Disneyland Walt's Magic Kingdom series LTD uh, uh, 500. And it's got like a little Disneyland, uh, Disneyland watermark here. This one is the Tiki Room. Look at Walt walking the tracks here. That's cool. And it all has sayings on the bottom on the right track. This one's cool, Walt on Main Street, USA. These are selling for $295 a piece. Him coming through Sleeping Beauty Castle. And then also, <laughs> Walt Disney to Neverland. These are beautiful. I would, I mean, honestly, I would love all of them. I, I would buy all of them and just have them hanging in my house. I actually might think about it. I'm, I'm, I'm considering it right now at this point because I'm in love. This is something that is really cool. And if you didn't know where it came from, then you would just think it's a regular, like, you know, table and chairs. But I have been here many of times, enjoyed a couple of beverages. This is from the boardwalk. Isn't that so beautiful? Look at this. Wow. I don't think it has any other markings on it. I'm sure they have the Walt Disney World property marking on it, but... I love this. I wonder if what it's selling for. I don't know if it's selling for the whole set. Oh yeah, $295 for everything. That's such a great deal right there. Straight from the boardwalk. Another really cool section is the Haunted Mansion section that you have over here by Vault Collectibles. And this shelf right here, I know I always pointed out, this is from the Memento More store itself right here. You can see this is the actual shelf and <laughs> it's here like that's awesome and it's displaying all the different haunted mansion merchandise and i love this bench holy moly look at this bench right here isn't that beautiful it just looks like so amazing 
now to own a like Haunted Mansion prop like the shell from Memento Mori is pretty amazing. But Melly's Remarket created something for the Haunted Mansion and I'm also in love with this. Melly's Remarket literally is art. And take a look at this Haunted Mansion cabinet that she created. Like this is so beautiful. I'm in love and it's got the little Haunted Mansion plaques right here on the inside. Take a look at that. Isn't this, it's unbelievable how amazing this is. And then on top, they even have the little ghouly ghouls. Welcome foolish mortal here. And then I'm gonna shut this, pull this down. Look at this. I've never seen something so exquisite. <laughs> she is so talented. Even the handle on the door itself. Look at, look at this. Guess what she's selling this for? She is selling this for 1300 no, $1,313.13. 13, 13, 13. But I didn't get to look in here. Oh, she is too good. Look at that. This is worth every single penny. And it's, and it's a decent size too. Wow, that is art right there. One last thing I wanted to point out, Madame Leota's crystal ball on top. I'm telling you, you have to look at her stuff. It is really cool. I'm gonna grab a card here so I can show you guys all of her information. Look at that. Just reach out. I'll add all of the vendors in the description below, but Melly's Remarket at gmail.com or on Facebook and Instagram. Bravo. Here is a cool display shelf from Magic Kingdom. This was over at the Big Top area, probably the Big Top merch display. And look at it. It actually has personalized engraving Mickey, <laughs> Minnie, Pluto. And I love this. This is actually really cool. I'm not too sure what, you know you would use it for, but if you own a store or anything like that, to have something like this in your store is kind of eye-catchy the way it is. Oh, it's actually marked with all the different uh, sizes too. And they're selling it for $495. That is really cool to own a piece of the big top circus area there. I know I say this all the time, but there's so much more to Lakeland Antique Mall than just Disney props and Universal stuff. There's just a lot of great treasures and you'll spend hours just roaming around looking at all of it. It's pretty impressive. Also, I wanted to point out some cool stuff from Halloween Horror Nights. They have all different props from the different houses over the years, some signs, and I love it. I mean, it's October. Even some Monsters Cafe memorabilia, including this chair right here. And now this isn't for sale, but I like to show it to you. It is the electric chair from out front. Look at that. Isn't that nifty? And then you can also see a couple of other things. These are the doors from the Beetlejuice house. I do love this right here because I've seen them plenty of times whenever they come to Universal Studios. And this is actually pretty affordable, $50, $59. So very cool, lots of fun stuff. Take a look at this gigantic circus like uh, costume right here. This is from Hunt's famous circus, Sebastian the Lion mascot costume. I love that selling for $450 it's from the 1970s and they have all different like kind of theme park circus memorabilia all around you know we got cars uh, a rollerball right here a whole entire rollerball they have oh an old ferris wheel swing here and this is selling for uh, $1,200 and it is a uh, ferris wheel seat from uh, looks like from the 1920s 1920s. I think they enjoyed the ride. What do you guys think? <laughs> they definitely enjoyed the ride a little bit. That was really nifty. Lots of amazing things in there. I'm really interested in those Walt Disney photos. You know, they're probably going to be gone by the time I come back, <laughs> but I'm going to wait on it. I mean, I really do love them though. And if you see anything that you're interested in, like I said, I will put all the information for the Lakeland Antique Mall, for Recycling the Magic, for Vault Collectibles, and Melly's Remarket, because all of them are absolutely amazing. And I always love coming and visiting and checking out all the cool stuff. 
off window shopping technically because sometimes I do buy things but I have so much now like I, the reason I'm not getting the Walt Disney photos is because I literally have nowhere to hang them I don't have any wall space I have stuff waiting to actually put up on the wall and I want to get a bigger place my my apartment's only like 600 square feet like I live in a very very tiny apartment and uh, yeah now time to head back home grab something to eat I don't know where we're gonna go yet I'm just gonna go for it just kind of wing it grab something to eat and just enjoy and we have made it to Disney's Port Orleans Resort. This is where we're gonna have dinner for the night and I am so excited. I noticed a lot of the Disney resorts actually updated their menus and Port Orleans has a sit down restaurant called Boat Rights and they uh, updated their menu as well. So I wanted to come out and try some of it. They have a blackened prime rib, which looks amazing. And then they have a platter service and I think it's called like uh, the taste of the bayou and it's like Cajun like sausage and chicken and ribs and brisket and all you can eat like platter. And I'm gonna meet up with a friend and we're gonna have a little din din at Port Orleans. I love it here. It's such a beautiful resort. It really is. So it's really cool to be able to do some shopping and then have a nice little resort day. Tonight is actually a beautiful night to come to Port Orleans. It's not too hot out. The horses are here and uh, we're gonna make our way over to Boat Rides. It's actually right here. As you walk through the lobby you'll be able to see it. And I love coming here. You got the River Roost and Yeehaw Bob. We'll have to come back and do a video where we actually, you know, come see him. It's been a while. But uh, today it's all about the, uh, the new food. Boat Rights Dining Hall. Should be right in here. I didn't have a reservation. I kind of just showed up. And uh, they said it would be about an hour wait. I don't think it's going to be an hour wait. But I put my name on the list anyway. Grabbed a menu and uh, I'll show you guys uh, a little bit of uh, the bayou. Thank you. Here is the menu, and like I said, a taste of the bayou. Hickory smoked pork ribs, crispy Cajun chicken, smoked sausage, barbecue beef brisket, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, roasted corn, Cajun butter, all you care to enjoy for $36. That is amazing. And then they also have the blackened prime rib. They have a low country seafood boil. Of course, Bolt Wright's jambalaya, but I think we're just gonna go with the platter. I mean, it's everything that you want right there in one spot. I like to just sit out here and stare at the horses. They remind me of Gracie. Almost any animal reminds me of my dog, and I don't know why. Like, I just sit there, and sometimes I just stare at Gracie when I'm sitting at home. So it kind of makes me laugh a little bit. But yeah, they live a good life here. In fact, a lot of people don't know it, but uh, the uh, Fort Wilderness, well, the Tri-Circle D Ranch, was one of the first buildings ever brought over to the Walt Disney World Resort because they had to get the horse uh, acclimated from, you know, when they wanted to start building the resort. And Fort Wilderness was an opening day resort back in 1971. So, I mean, it's a big, big staple here at the Walt Disney World Resort. And look at this one right here. Ooh. Look at that. Looks like he's eating something. He's licking the wood. Just like that, they said 60 minutes and our table is ready in five minutes. <laughs> it literally was five minutes. And I think they just do that because it gives them a time. Like they don't control the time, but hey, I'm ready to eat. The inside of the restaurant has a gigantic boat. Look at I Guess that's why they call it boat rights. <laughs> I wasn't too sure how much. Oh, hey, there he is. <laughs> I wasn't too sure how much of the menu was brand new because it all kind of looks like the old menu, you know what I mean? But they just added like a new name to it. But after talking to the cast member that's taking care of me, Taylor, she told me that like the blackened prime rib, it used to only be blackened on the outside. Now it's blackened throughout the prime rib. So that caught my attention. And then also they switched the chicken. It used to be like a Nashville hot chicken. Now it's like a crispy Cajun chicken. So uh, I think we're gonna probably go for either the, the prime rib and the skillet so we can just see what it's like. And I'm also excited to try the fried okra and a lot of other sides. I mean, the food here is really good and the value is better. Like the value is $34 for that all you can eat platter. And that is such a great deal. It also comes with a complimentary bread service. Well, a complimentary cornbread service and it has a little 
uh, honey butter hidden Mickey. That sounds funny, a honey butter hidden Mickey. And I also went with an Arnold Palmer, and I love how it came out with little, uh, little Mickey ears there. So I'm excited to dive in. You know, I do love me some cornbread, and uh, this looks, oh wow, this cornbread's gonna be good, I know it. Oh. Gotta get some of that honey butter on there. Wow. I love how the cornbread crumbles so much. But I have to say, I'm in love with this honey butter. It is so good. Like, oh, I just want to keep on eating it. But rule number one, never fill up on the bread service, especially when you have an all you care to enjoy platter coming out. Enough of the cornbread business. It looks like the main event has arrived. First up, we got the blackened prime rib. Look at this. Look at it. It looks so good. I can see all the char and blackened uh, texture to it. And then we've got greens and fried okra as our side. This looks phenomenal, like holy moly. I am so excited to dive into this. And then over here is the taste of the bayou. We got a little bit of the brisket, the Cajun chicken, some green beans, some sausage, some mac and cheese, some corn, some ribs. A little bit of everything. There's going to be a lot of food going down here, and I am excited. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. We're going to be sampling a little bit of everything. I'm going to grab a little fried okra right here, though, real quick, because it looks so good. It looks very, like, airy and not so, like, not so heavy. That's what I'm hoping for, and that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Now it's time to cut into this prime rib. I'm gonna take this little piece right here. Oh, this looks so good. I cannot wait. Seriously. There we go, a nice blackened piece of prime rib. And it's funny because most people like their prime rib like bloody rare, and this has like a different concept to it. I mean, it's still rare. Oh, uh, it's about mid-rare, but uh, the blackened process actually adds probably a lot to it. So, we're gonna see. I, I'm betting it's packed full of flavor here. Wow. Wow. Very seasoned. Very, very, very flavorful. Definitely packs a punch. I like it. This is very Cajun-ish. Very Cajun-ish. <laughs> I like that, but it's good. The fried okra and the Cajun prime rib is a safe bet. I'm also gonna try the greens here. I've never had them before. They look pretty good. I mean, it's got a lot in there, so try a little greens while we're at it. A lot of people usually think when it comes to blackened items that it's like very spicy, but it's not that spicy at all. Like, I don't do well with spicy food. I eat like mild wings, and that is like, it's good. Just full of flavor. So here's the greens. Oh, good greens too. Now we're gonna dive in and try a little bit of the taste of the bayou. And I think I'll start with the Cajun chicken. Looks like it's nice. This is the thing that changed the most on there. And it has a little Cajun rub on the bottom there, or seasoning I can see. But I don't know how uh, spicy it may be. If it's the same breading that's on the fried okra, then this is gonna be very good and I cannot wait to try it. So here we go. I am a huge fan of the chicken. That breading is so good. They have a, a dinner that is just all the chicken and I would get it, I mean, I love it. This chicken is phenomenal. I know there's a lot of diehard fans out there who don't like it when uh, establishments change their recipe on things. Like, and I'm sure there's some diehard Boatwright fans out there, but that chicken I feel like is an improvement and it is so good. The sausage is okay. It's not the best. Now we're gonna try some of the brisket. And I don't like it when they, I don't like it when they slice up the brisket like this in very thin slices. I like actually having that thick piece, you know? And then we got ribs to go. We have ribs, we have a lot of food here. Let's get into a little bit of the brisket though first. Try some of this, cause this looks, I mean it looks good. I just wish it was like a whole piece, you know? Yeah, I like it. 
and I could probably go without doing uh, the barbecue sauce on it. I, I don't know, I like I like my brisket just the way it is. Oh, might as well grab a rib. Might as well grab a rib. There we go. Let's take a look at the ribs here. Ribs look good. I think it's pork ribs. I don't know if I can get it to focus. Look at Looks pretty good, so grab a little bite here. Yeah, I'm all in on the ribs too. I mean, it, you know what? If I would have to rank what my favorite like item is, uh, I had to think about it. I mean, they're all pretty good. The more and more I think about it, I think I have to go with the chicken. Like on the whole platter, the chicken was phenomenal. Like I really, really enjoyed the breading and the texture. And uh, yeah, I mean the prime rib is good, but that's not a part of the platter. That's not a part of the platter. I mean, that'd be a really good platter if they had brisket and prime rib together. I'm so full, I think I'm throwing in the blue towel. I'm throwing in the blue towel. <laughs> Now, if you wanted more of the platter, you could just order whatever you wanted. So if you wanted more chicken, they'll bring you out more chicken. You want more brisket, more mashed potatoes, and such on. And like I said, it's a, it's a really good deal. Like, considering the fact that a lot of all-you-can-eat places at Disney are like $55, you know what I mean? Uh, I have to see, I know the price changed a lot for some of the different restaurants because uh, I think the lowest all-you-can-eat platter was like $29 and I think that went up to like $35 too so I think this is the lowest right with it uh, and I think that was at Sebastian's too I'm pretty sure I have to double check but yeah as you guys know there are some price increases happening all around the resort and I think that's one of them and with that I am completely full <laughs> I had a lot of food and I got a lot left over and it's time to head home Got to see little Gracie girl and call it a night. It's been a fun adventurous day I mean Lakeland is about 45 maybe an hour away depending on traffic So driving down driving back up and you know coming here getting some good food and exploring around It was a good day. I kind of liked it all so yeah head home uh, Give a check on Gracie and then call it a night from there I'm looking for my angel. There she is. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? You laying in bed? Are you laying in bed? Oh, yes. I missed you too. What are you doing, huh? You being a little silly? Look at your butt up in the air. <laughs> Where's your butt up in the air, huh? What are you doing? Oh, you gonna give me kisses? Oh, thank you. And with that, I think we are done here. I had to come home and show Gracie. I've been adding her more into the videos because, I don't know, I kind of just like seeing her on camera. <laughs> like, <laughs> when, I, when I go back and edit the videos, I like seeing her, and I know you guys like seeing her too. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was a great day. Food was fantastic. I got a whole bunch of food left over and uh, a lot of cool props. I really am interested in getting some of those Walt Disney uh, pictures because those were just so beautiful. Oh, I do want to show you guys something really, really cool. The reason I want to get those Walt Disney pictures because that was all Disneyland and a friend of mine sent these to me and he found them in a, I think he said a yard sale and look at these are early stages of Walt Disney World. That's them putting the castle together. This one right here is Main Street USA getting constructed. You can see the Haunted Mansion was actually in place before a lot of this because the uh, Haunted Mansion was built prior to Walt Disney World of the Magic Kingdom. It was actually built over for Disneyland. We've got the Contemporary here, the Polynesian, and I feel like those Walt Disney pictures that are for sale would fit perfectly. This one was one of my favorites, so look at this. Look at that monorail getting placed on the track. That's so cool, but I love these photos and I think the Walt Disney ones will fit perfectly. Anywho's, now that'll do it for me. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Look at the light on my head. I can't even believe I'm bald. Look at that. Where?